and Kevin. Mm -hmm. And if it's a family party and it's indoors, I don't even ask. Kevin just comes along with me. Everyone already knows that. So, yeah, I mean, and I guess for any of my family parties, because normally we're traveling overnight. I mean, obviously, we're going to take Elio because otherwise, where is he going to go? So, right. (laughs) So it's, It's a given. It's a given. All right, number two, you sleep in a tiny corner of your bed while your dog spreads out luxuriously. Oh, yeah, unfortunately for me. Yep, same here. Mm-hmm. So I um, I have a, a blanket that I lay on one half of the bed that Kevin will usually lay on. Uh, so he will, that's his half of the bed, and then he gets up in the middle of the night. A couple times during the night, he gets up and down. He likes to sleep in between my legs. And then he'll come back out and lay on the blanket again after a while too. So he moves. He gets up several times at night. Doesn't Cal not fun? Doesn't not Cal, <laughs> Doesn't Kevin also love your heated blanket where he'll just like? Oh yes. So during the winter months, I plug in a heated blanket, and when he lays on it, he will not move the rest of the day. Like I have to turn it off and like put it away to get him okay. to like do anything. <laughs> Galileo finds places like that, like he'll claim a blanket as his own or he'll claim like the laundry pile as his own. <laughs> yes. Or, I always said if Kevin ran away, I would stick a laundry basket of clean clothes outside and he'll just come home to lay oh, out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's all you have to stick outside. <laughs> all right. So next is you watch the puppy bowl with as much excitement as if as a football fanatic watches the Super Bowl. Um. So I like watching it. I wouldn't say with the same enthusiasm because I don't, I'm not wearing a jersey and I don't have like banners or, but I, I'll, live, yeah. I'll root for the ones I like. Yeah, same. It's a great, I love the puppy ball. <laughs> so you whip out your phone to show photos of your dog to people you've just met. Well, yeah. All the time. I, I, so not if it's, a, so I won't. If we haven't, if we're not talking about dogs, if we're talking about like food, I won't be like, oh, here's a picture of my pup, my dog. <laughs> yeah. I don't go off topic like that, but yes. If it comes up, yeah, you're going to see. When someone says, what kind of dog do you have? Do you want to see him? <laughs> yes. Oh, I have the funniest pictures. <laughs> you think it's super romantic when instead of jewelry, your partner gives you custom artwork of your dog or a couture poop bag purse. Okay, so I don't agree with this one. I wouldn't mm-hmm. mind a I wouldn't mind if, like, a family member got me a picture of Galileo, but I'll take the jewelry from Kevin. Yeah, I, yeah, I would definitely take jewelry. However, my sister for Christmas, um, she did commission a painting of Kevin for okay. me, and it was the best gift ever, and it's it's in my room. So I did really appreciate that, and I love it. A couture poop bag purse would I, I could pass on. Yeah, um, me too, because why would you need a whole purse for that like the bags aren't that big no (laughs) no (laughs) um okay you facetime or skype your dog when you're apart yeah gotta see what's going on normally doesn't even talk to me (laughs) i facetime my parents when they're watching kevin and then uh my kevin and i facetime my mom and dad a lot a couple of times a week from home because he just if i if i ask him if he wants to call granny he grabs a toy and runs over. So he, he loves it. So we do that a lot. Also, when he's acting kind of wild, I'll FaceTime my mom and then he calms down and lays down. So oh, wow. Sometimes I call his grandma and then he jumps out. It works. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you engage in social pet working, meaning that you have a Twitter, or Facebook, Instagram page for your dog. So I'll, I put him on mine, but that's a lot of work. Same. I I mean, my Instagram is just basically pictures of Kevin, so there's no need to have a separate one mm-hmm. just for him. All right. You constantly share photos of your dog online with hashtags like Tongue Out Tuesday or Wolf Wolf Wednesday. <laughs> I don't use those ones, but I will use Yorkies of Instagram or <laughs> something else. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I post, uh, like I said, the only thing I ever heard they ever post is pictures of Kevin and his hashtag is hashtag KevDog. Yeah, I guess I also do hashtag Galileo Figaro sometimes. Yeah. You know what's funny is there is, um, if you click on Dog two Gs, mm-hmm. and there is two different people that use that hashtag that have a lot of followers. One of them is a, um, a radio show, a very popular radio show in California called The Kevin and Bean Show. Mm-hmm. It's in L.A. They 
like all of Kevin's pictures. They actually did a deep dive into my Instagram and liked all of them. <laughs> um, and then there is a guy that is into like car shows or truck shows or something. And all of in his followers, I have a Kevin <laughs> gets a lot of likes from the car show circuit people <laughs> too. <laughs> so hashtag Kev dog, check it out. Um, Nine, you give presents or throw a puppy shower when a friend gets a new dog. So I wouldn't throw a puppy shower, but I would get a little gift or something. Yeah, I feel like I may have done that in the past. So definitely not not a puppy shower, but uh, if I know I'm going to see a friend that just got a dog, I'd probably bring a, a gift over. I like to give gifts for dogs. Yeah, I mean, I also don't really, I'm not that into normal showers, so why yeah, would I want to do an extra? <laughs> Right, right. Oh, and let's see here. On a tender note, when your dog, when your friend's dog passes away, you send a sympathy card and make it or make a donation to a nonprofit like Best Friends Animal Sanctuary, Dog Sanctuary, or something along those lines. Yeah, I do do that. I I'll send a card or flowers. Yeah, ties. And I, or I would take them out or do like literally anything because they just lost a huge part of their life. So yeah. I would do whatever I could to make that friend feel better. Absolutely. You watch Marley and me when you need a really good cry. No. (laughs) Yeah. I don't need that kind of cry. Yeah. I stop watching shows like movies like that where I know that that's going to happen or like shows like This Is Us because I just feel like life is hard as it is and the last thing I need is more realness in it. So. Yeah, I don't yep. do that. And I think that yeah, when we recorded this the first time, we were talking both about how um, we can't even watch shows where mm-hmm. like somebody harms a dog. And I that's the whole reason that neither one of us has watched Tom the Cards because we can't get past yeah. the first episode where he kills a they dog. Lose us, they lose us too quick. Yeah. In that opening scene. That was a bold... Well, I, and you want to know what? I think that if that, they did that today, I don't think that it would fly as well. Yeah. I don't know. Well, it hasn't been like that long, but I feel like the world is changing. And I feel like, well, no, I, you know what I think it is? I think that with social media, I mm-hmm. think that it wasn't prevalent when that show first came out. And now, oh. like, people would talk about it a lot more. So people would have a lot more opinions. So I don't think that, I think it'd be a riskier scene. That's just my, that's, true. that's just my um, opinion on that. Yeah. Well, yeah, they definitely lost me and you. I can't mm-hmm. get past it can't watch it nope. and i specifically if i know a dog's gonna die in a movie or a show i just i don't watch yeah. so what's it a dog's purpose or something is a movie that where like a dog dies and keeps coming back as like a different dog like reincarnated as different dogs i've never Do you know what i'm talking that. about i've never seen it no oh i've never seen it either because there's no way i'm watching that yeah but it's supposed to be kind of like a feel-good movie but i can't understand how it could be with that many dog deaths <laughs> Yeah. One movie. I don't anytime they do feel good movies unless like they live happily ever after with a dog I'm not interested because a lot of times yeah. when they say feel good it leads to a not happy ending right so all right next you consider looking at adoptable pets on petfinder.com um, or as a friend calls it doggy tender wait what I don't that didn't make any sense I don't know <laughs> you dog consider looking at tender? adoptable pets on petfinder.com or as one friend calls it, doggy tender. Oh, I guess. I read it wrong the word the first time. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, no, I don't do that often because then I'd probably want another dog. So you got yeah. to you gotta keep your, um, I got to stay away from certain things. Right. Don't tempt yourself if you know you don't want another dog. Actually, and I found Kevin on Pet Finder. Right. So shout out to them. Um, you leave social gatherings early because your dog has been home alone too long. Yes, and that's not like making you above and beyond awesome. That just makes you responsible. Yeah, you should go home. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you rock dog hair like it's a fashion accessory. Mm-hmm. Galileo doesn't shed, so I. Yeah, Kevin does, just not a lot. Um, but yeah, if I I would have, I used to have like a the roller things to get mm-hmm. the dog hair off, but he really doesn't shed anymore. And honestly, I used to just use the roller on him. 
just roll off all the hair that was coming off. That seemed to work better. So instead of like, and he likes it. <laughs> instead of rolling your pants, just like take, yeah. it, just take it off. Just that's go a, straight to the source. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. I'm sure that you could put something together where it's just like taking like an existing lint roller and throw away like a new logo on it or something and sell it on QVC. Yeah. It's like dog de shedder. Yeah. It works. Yeah. As seen on TV. <laughs> exactly. Um, you spell out words like W A L K in the presence of your dog as if um if it's not actually time to go outside because they know what the word is. Yeah, I guess I would do that. I feel like I spell a lot of things these days though. But. Yeah, yeah. I he knows that word, um, and just the word "go." Well, I usually like try not to say that because if I say it, he pops up because he thinks he's gonna go somewhere. So <laughs> his little head. Try to keep that to a minimum. <laughs> little head around the corner. His little tiny head. Kevin has a a small head to body ratio. <laughs> um, your dog was a bridesmaid or a ring bearer in your wedding. The galley was not officially, but he did have a tuxedo, and we took professional photos together. Yeah, and I would do that, too. Super cute. Um, you like the smell of a wet dog? Um, if it's a freshly shampooed wet dog. Yeah. I, I'm not crazy about normal wet dog, but. <laughs> and I like, Kevin doesn't smell bad. He smells pretty good, probably because he's an indoor dog, and he smells usually like whatever lotion I happen to be wearing mm -hmm. at the time because I pet him so much, but I smell him constantly and I like how he smells. So even if he's wet or whatever, I always am smelling him mm -hmm. and his feet smell like Fritos. <laughs> I do. I do remember you telling me that. Yeah, I mean, I smell, I guess I smell Galileo. I smell Madeline all the time. I, yeah. The only reason to have a child is really so you can smell them. <laughs> These creepy oh. smelling heads. Yeah. I do. Oh, and, I, and I do it to my dog. <laughs> All right. You have play dates with your girlfriends to hike with your dogs or hit up yappy hours at bars. Yeah. I would, yeah. Yeah. We, um, especially in Cincinnati, we used to always take our dogs over to mm -hmm. Madry. Um, it's a brewery there that is pretty awesome and very dog friendly. And there's a place here in Columbus that Joe and I like to go to and bring our dogs. Um, it's a brewery, but you can bring your dogs inside there. So. Do you remember, that's our that's our hot spot. Do you were you there? I'm trying to remember if you were there if it was Rachel when we were at Mad Tree and I brought Galileo to like the beer festival thing, and because it was like a huge festival, they had porta potties outside, and uh, it was dark out, and I didn't pee my pants. I peed on my pants. And I <laughs> yes, pee. and so then yes. I had to go home because I peed on my pants. <laughs> yes, I remember that. I came later. I met you guys there, so oh. you were there for a while before I got there. The worst, and it's all because yeah. those porta potties are so dark, and I couldn't <laughs> see anything. That place was crazy. It was too many people in one. And I one brought space. And I brought a dog to it. Yeah, <laughs> we took an Uber, me and Galileo. Yeah. <laughs> well, once again, because I was going to be gone for a long time, so I wanted to make sure that he wasn't alone. Yeah. Well, and that's like any opportunity that you can bring your dog out to places. I feel like with you is the best of both worlds. So you don't have to leave early and you have an ex but you also have the excuse of having to leave early if you want to. Mm -hmm. So you can say the dog needs to eat or something. But, um, cool. You sign your dog's name on cards and add a little paw print so people will know that he or she really signed it. I normally don't. Had a paw print, but I will sign his name, and everybody always knows it's me signing. <laughs> Same. I always sign Kevin's name, and I used to always put a little paw print. Then I stopped doing it because of just laziness. But my niece does call me out on it all the time, so I need to start doing it again because she likes it. Um, some of your favorite books have canine narrators. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I not none of my favorite books are narrated by a dog. I don't think I've ever read a book narrated by a dog unless it's like one of Madeline's books. Yeah, I tried to listen to The Art of Racing in the Rain, which is narrated by a dog, which is a really like highly reviewed book, but I I listened to it on audio and I just really didn't I couldn't get into it, but I have a hard time with audiobooks, so yeah. that's probably why. I think it's probably a good book, but I'm just I I never like any books when I listen to them. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, your dog answers to his or her name, but as as well as Baby Sweet Pea, Little Love, Mr. Handsome Perfect, all these names. I call Galileo Big Boy sometimes. 